29-year-old Dallas, Texas native Bonnie Caulfield has completed seven Ironman races, steadily climbing the age group ranks in the four years she's been racing. One of six kids, she grew up in a tight-knit family playing every sport imaginable. She earned a spot on the Division I soccer team at the University of Texas San Antonio before ultimately focusing her athletic pursuits on triathlon. After watching her mom, Mitzi, race her first Ironman at age 54, Bonnie knew she'd found her new passion. So I saw my mom finish both of her Ironmans. I loved seeing her discipline and toughness and getting to see her finish both of her races was just something really, really special. I just, I knew that that's what I was made to do. Guided by her mom, she started training for Ironman Texas and surprised herself with a 14th place finish in her age group. I knew that I loved Ironman before I even raced it, but racing my first one confirmed that I did love it and that it was gonna consume my life starting from that point. <laughs> Most all of my races, I've placed higher and higher, you know, climbing to 14th and 12th and, and now recently 8th. So yeah, Kona's, it's in my mind, it's in my sights, especially once you've raced a number of Ironmans. It's, it's fun to have this ultimate goal, this ultimate prize. And getting there and getting to be in the presence of the pros and to see the beauty of Hawaii and to, to honestly race a race that, from what I hear, is immensely difficult. When Bonnie was faced with a crisis in her personal life, this mindset, rooted in determined resiliency, was tested more than ever. When her marriage began to deteriorate, Iron Man training gave her a sense of footing, something to cling to when the world seemed to be spinning. Iron Man collectively has pulled me through a lot of difficult seasons and, and the divorce being definitely the most difficult. It gave me space to, to think and to process my life and to pray. I have hundreds of people who have contributed to my journey, whether that is helping me with advice or training with me. I would have never loved this sport without the community of people. It's just really important for me now to give back. Hello, Bonnie. Bonnie Caulfield, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you, Mike? Fantastic. We just saw your Quest for Kona video and such an inspiration. And to be inspired by your mom, who was an Ironman first, that had to be a, very special for you. Oh my gosh. It was awesome. I mean, every Ironman is awesome. She's been there every single race and uh, I'm, I'm super thankful to have her. That's fantastic. So what was it like, the experience of having like cameras follow you on your journey for your Kona series? Was it, was it inspiring? Was it motivating? Was it intimidating to have that camera kind of right in your face all the time? Gosh, it was definitely a different experience, uh, but it was it was amazing. Um, very motivating, knowing that anything that I say and do can be captured. Um, which was like, okay, Bond, don't do anything embarrassing. Don't you know? Let them capture you doing a snot rocket or something. Um, <laughs> but really, really motivating. Um, I, I had this little like party clan with me the whole day, um, which it was it was a really different race experience, but. Oh my gosh, we had a blast. The whole weekend was a blast. 140.6 miles of partying, huh? <laughs> oh, for sure. That, I mean, that's what I call Iron Man. <laughs> so how, how have you been adapting your training to our current situation we're in now? Mm -hmm. Well, I was supposed to be racing Iron Man Texas this weekend. Um, unfortunately, that obviously isn't happening. And um, I was slated to race Iron Man Tulsa as well. And so I was getting into my peak as this whole coronavirus hit. Um, and so I've, I've uh, taken it back a lot, um, cut back on my hours, cut back on my intensity, um, which has, has been good. Um, I'm definitely still training, um, keeping those base miles, trying to keep up my base fitness. 
um, for when races start getting relaunched, you know, I'm going to be itching to race just like everybody else in the fall. And so I want to keep my fitness for that. Well, and, and you're just in a happy birthday this week. You're just in a new age group, 30 to 34. Is the Kona qualification still a big priority for you? It's, it's definitely a, a priority. Um, yeah, unfortunately I'm in a tougher age group now. Um, but it, it's absolutely still a priority. Um, I'd love to, to qualify the, the standard way. I'd love to win my age group some, someday. Um, but if not, I'll try and go through the legacy program. Um, I'm at eight now. And so hopefully I can get to 12 in the next few years while I'm still, um, you know, young and spry and, yeah, however I can get there, I'm, I'm willing to I'm willing to go for it. Well, that's a piece of cake. You've only got four more to the legacy. I think you'll get there. So, Bonnie, have you been doing and racing the Ironman VR series? I have. I have. I'm registered for VR4 already. I knocked out one, two, and three in the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been fun. It's been fun watching everybody um, race in their, their respective places. And um, I think it's a really cool thing that Ironman put together to – to keep us all connected in this really, really strange time that we're in. Yeah. There's no, there's no faking it on that bike when you're going downhill and you got to keep riding and pedaling. You go, wait a minute. I just want to coast. Exactly. Exactly. The trainer is brutal. I, I would take an <laughs> outdoor ride over the trainer any day. <laughs> so Bonnie, what's, what's your advice for all the other Kona hopefuls out there who had that dream to qualify and get to the, to the big island. What's your advice to them? Mm, good question. Um, connect with your why. Definitely find your why. Um, if you are doing this sport um, without a bigger picture, without a, a bigger why, so to speak, it makes it really, really tough to stay motivated when um, when you're tired of training. <laughs> And when you're tired of recovering and you're tired of just all of the things, um, connecting with, with why you do this sport is so, so critical. Um, cause motivation is, is a luxury. Um, most days I don't feel like most of us are super motivated to get out of bed early and, you know, hit the road, hit the bike, but, um, understanding what makes you tick and what makes you stick to this sport is, is crucial to, to someday, you know, achieving your goal, whatever that may be. Well, Bonnie, you have a great positive attitude. Uh, for only 30 years old, it's like you're an older soul when it comes to racing and Ironman. And uh, we can't wait to bring you down a Lee Drive or any other Ironman finish line in the future. So the best of luck to you. Thanks so much, Mike. I'm, I'm going to get there. I'll be there one day. <laughs> I know you will. Aloha. <laughs>